welcome back to my channel so today this video is strictly 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 about how to retie your hair i feel like i've done like a million retie videos but i still get requests on like how do you do it so maybe when i'm doing my videos i'm kind of running through it because I know what I'm doing or I have more experience doing it. So today I'm going to do my best. I'm going to break it down step by step and hopefully by the end of this video you feel confident enough to do your own hair or someone else's hair. And today I'm going to be showing you the four point rotation. For me, I try to go in a clockwise direction. So yes, I'm going to break it down step by step. I saved, I did my retie, but I saved four for you all so that I can go through it. I hope that you enjoy. I hope that this helps a lot. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It helps my channel out a lot. Go ahead and click the bell so that you know every time I post a new video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. Share the video if you love it, share it. Let someone else watch it. And yeah, comment down below any other video suggestions or questions or advice, go ahead and leave them down below. So let's learn how to do a retie step by step. I will do my best. Okay. So, hopefully this camera is high enough. Oh, I hate to mess up my hairstyle. Because I liked it today. <laughs> hopefully the camera's high enough. So, I saved four in here somewhere. Alright, they're right here. Okay, usually when I do my reties, I go in a row, so I'll take a whole row. If you saw my retie video, watching me retie my hair from start to finish, you see I divide my hair into about six sections. So within a section, I will go in a whole row. It could be vertical, it could be horizontal, however I feel like doing it, but I try to keep my rows straight because my parts really do matter to me. you all are getting this so I'm right here if you look this one's retied and then these four are not okay so like I said before I use these long clips and I use the short ones the short ones is to hold the individual locks, um, like the next lock coming up. It holds that lock in place. The long one is for a row. So this whole row would have been, let's say I work from the bottom up, or whatever section is from the bottom up. So this whole row here, rather, would have been undone. And since this whole row would have been undone, it would have a long clip from here all the way there. I'm not gonna put it in all the way now because um, I did retie the two front ones and that will hurt. But it would have a clip on this whole thing to keep that out of my way and I try to get it as absolute close to the scalp as possible. When you have micro locks, like small, small ones, if you care about the parting, you have to make sure nobody else is getting away. Okay. So then, this row here would be done. I would do this one and work back or front to back. It really doesn't matter. Then I would use my camera and make sure that's out the way. So I'm going to use a small clip now and pin it out the way. And now I am getting my uh, nappy lock tool. This is the smallest size. Sorry, the light shine on it a little bit. This is the smallest size, so I would have done this one. The moment it's retied, I don't have to put a clip in it anymore because the fact that it's retied will keep all of his hair in place. However, you're gonna see how I hold this to make sure I don't join it with anyone else. So I'm just gonna get some of this out the way for you all. I wanna make sure you can see. 
Okay, so I section off the whole top row. That's not done. I get the next one that I'm about to do, which in, the case, in this case is right here. So you can see how all of this needs to be retied, which is not a lot, thank God, because I did my retie. I think I'm about six weeks from the last one. Six weeks, maybe seven weeks. Okay, sorry. Okay, now another good tip, and um, I actually learned this when I went to school for cosmetology, is as much as possible, don't put down whatever tools you're using. So like if you're using a comb, try not to put it down. Um, anything that you're using constantly, try not to put it down. In this case, the thing I'm using constantly is going to be the nappy lock tool and it's going to be this clip. So I'm gonna try not to put it down. If you have to put it down, have something close by you, like the drawer that I showed you in a couple of my videos with all the different drawers in it, or like a table, something where you can kind of get it quickly, it helps you move faster. So this, I kind of hold this in my hand, like right in there, and kind of lock it in so that I don't have to put it down. Then I grab the lock I'm working on, and this is very small, so I gotta make sure I bend the hair small enough to go through the fattest section, which is at the bottom. I bend the bottom of my lock in half, take this lock, bend it in half. So it's just like threading a needle for sewing. And I put it through that hole. Be careful if you have two strand twists that you don't accidentally open up your twist. Then I'm pulling it all the way out. And here goes my nappy lock tool. And I wanna have enough hair at the bottom of it so that it doesn't fall off. Sometimes it does fall off and I gotta redo it and that's okay. But I wanna have enough. Okay, I have it in between my index finger and my thumb. Now, I have this pinned out the way, I have these pinned out the way, but I'm still gonna hold this between my thumb and my index finger. That way, every time I do something, I'm making sure I'm not putting anything else in it that should not be in there. All right, for me, most times I'm trying to go on a counterclockwise rotation. So wherever I start, because sometimes it's not always the same, but wherever I start, I'm trying to go like a clock, not counterclockwise, I'm sorry. I'm trying to go clockwise. So let's say I start in the front. Then I go and I stick it in through the front and pull it all the way up. Stick it in, pull it up till it won't go up no more. Then I'm gonna pull it through the back. If your locks are a little longer, you gotta make sure you get that extra out so that you don't mess it up. I went through the front, so now I gotta go through the top because that would be the next thing. So say I went through 12, now I'm gonna go through three. Again, holding it so that I don't grab nobody else. Sticking it through the center of that as much as I can, pulling it all the way up till it stops. Grabbing my other hand to pull it through. If needed, pull the extra hair out. Now I did 12, I did three. Let's go ahead and do six, which is gonna be the back. Holding it so I don't join nobody else, especially since I can't see. Put it in, pull it up till it stops, pull it through. So now I did 12, three, six, and I'm gonna do nine. Holding it tight. Pulling it up till it stops, pulling it through. And as you can see, there's a little bit left now after they're already doing just four. So now, if it matters to you to have them all stop the same way, Sometimes I will skip a side. So I try to it's say this one started at 12. I did 12, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. But say I want all of them to go up. So I want all of them to end at 9 o'clock. I may skip some to make sure that it ends at 9 o'clock. So if you care, you might have to skip one. So now looking at this, I feel like I could, I actually feel like I could do two or three more. So I'm going to fill it out. I'm gonna go back to 12 at the top. I'm using my thumb to kind of push it forward to me, using the needle to go through, pull it up, and pull it through. I'm gonna go back to three. And now I'm at the point where I really wanna stop. I don't wanna do two more, 
So I'm going to skip six and go straight to nine and pull it through. Because remember, I'm trying to stop right and I have a little bit of space left, but I want it to be able to move around. And if I do it too tight, it won't move and my head will be sore. This one is done. Let me show you this again. I get my next piece. I clip the other piece out my way. And see, I didn't drop this clip. It makes me move faster. I still have my needle, um, my tool in my hand. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to bend the end. Small enough to fit through. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom unless your hair is shorter. If your hair is longer, please don't go all the way to the bottom. There's no need because you want the nappy lock tool to kind of be in the middle. It's small enough to fit through, so I'm going to go ahead and push it through at the bottom. Pull it all the way out. Pull that nappy lock tool up pretty high. Here I go. I'm going to grip it with my thumb and my index finger. But again, it does not matter. If I started at six, if I start at nine, if I start at three, I'm just gonna keep going around the clock. So how about I start at three this time? Then I go from three, over, pull up till it doesn't go up no more, pull it through. Hold the tool so that it doesn't slide out. Let me go ahead and hit six, holding it tight. Going through the middle of this section, I'm going to put the needle in the middle of that. My fingers are kind of filling away. Pull it up, pull it through. Let me go ahead and do nine. Got my thumb here to make sure I don't grab anybody else. Pull it up. Pull it through. Let me go to 12. Pull it up. And pull it through. That was four points. So let me keep going around the clock. Back to three. Pull it up. Pull it through. Back to six. Pull it up. Pull it through. I want mine to go, my last rotation to be through the nine. So I'm going to skip nine because I can do two more. I'm going to skip nine and do 12 and I'm going back to nine only because that's where I want it to end. Once I do nine, this one will be done. And I am all finished. Sometimes I have a little bulb here that I do not like. So I just push that right through and get rid of that bulb. And I'm repairing this lock like I showed you in one of my previous videos. And that will get rid of it and make it more smooth. So, I'm going to do these last two. Then I go to the next row. So, I take this clip out. Don't drop it. I have the nappy lock in my hand. I'm going to put this clip in my hand. I'm going to put this clip in my hand. Get these two here that I didn't do. And let me do them. Because these all around it are done, I don't need to put this long needle here. I mean this long clip here, because they're done. They're not going to get in my way. This one will get in my way because it's not done. That needs to be clipped. Out my way. Bend it through. Pull it through the hole. Pull it out. Got the tool all the way up. I feel like starting at three. So, three, six, nine, twelve. That's a four point rotation. Let's go back to three, six. skip nine because I can only do two more and go straight to 12 because my desire is to end them all at nine. Pull 
Pull my extra hair out. And my last one. I don't have to clip anything because they've all been done. This is the last one, so nothing's getting clipped. Bend the bottom. See, I got a lot left, so I'm kind of bending the middle. Pull it through. Pull the needle through the middle. I'm going back to three. Six. Nine. Twelve. This one doesn't have no more space. So, I'm actually done with this one. It doesn't have no more space, so. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna leave it, I think. I did a good job that is all that i have for you today thank you so much for watching don't forget if you haven't already click the thumbs up it helps out my channel and it helps me reach more subscribers gain more subscribers show up on people on more people's home page thank you so much for subscribing if you have already if you're new here go ahead and subscribe i do a lot of live videos but some diy videos like sewing and other hairstyles natural hair care so if you're interested in any of those things go ahead and subscribe i hope to see you in the next one and i hope this video helps i hope i took it slow enough and i hope i explained it well but until next time adios